Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Megs and uh, this is The Painted Lip. Today I am going to talk about a brand that I've been hearing more and more about um, and that is Tammy Tanuka. <laughs> place two orders one I one order was just uh, I think uh, five different loose pigments in the full size so two mils and then um, other uh, order consisted generally of a lot more so her site is sigil.me or you can get them through the Etsy shop I purchased mine through her Etsy shop um, which was just a little bit easier obviously to navigate but doesn't have the full range of her products um her sigil.me does have english translation but otherwise it is in russian it is a little bit kind of a interesting um a go of it when you're trying to maneuver through her site and navigate through it um so you want to look at like sigil eyeshadows for her loose pigments and then her sigil eggs for the six pan kind of pressed ones sigil coins are her refill pans and then sigil books are her full-size palettes um, so i got a few different kinds when i first put the 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 order in, um, I didn't even look at the texture or uh, the finishes. It was just more like, ooh, I like that color, ooh, I like that color. And there were just some really gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Not only that, but the photography. They do a good job in photography and showing the colors in their best possible light, let me tell you. Um, what I also like about uh, both the Etsy and her official site, talk about the complexity of the shadows themselves. So easy, complex, medium, what kind of things you'll need to use it and use it for you know the best possible way of using it. So whether it be you need a sticky base or adhesive or wet or, you know, it's easy to use just using padding motion. How they show up is very, very cute, and this is why indie brands are just like killing it. Uh, just the amount of, I don't know, the, the feeling behind it and all that. Uh, they come wrapped, they have like twine around it with cute little beads, um, and then within them they have these like little these little cards um, that give you just the fantasy, medieval, Game of Thrones kind of feel to them. Um, and they come, as I said, wrapped in little boxes. Uh, so you almost feel like you're getting a little gift. So let's get to the colors. So what I've done was when I pressed them, I kept the sticker they came with because they are labeled in Russian. As I said, it is a Russian brand. So, you know, I don't expect it to be in English. As, as, as I said, it's a, it's a Russian brand. So let's get started on the ones I definitely know uh, what the names of them are. Um, and we'll start there. Okay, so I some of these I talked about already um, when I received them um, in loose form. And as I said, I pressed them today. So this is my first one. This is sworn to the estuary. And this is described as a bright kind of deep emerald green um, with a definite black base. The first couple of ones I'm going to show you are definitely black bases and these are more satin. They do have a little bit of, you can see, a little bit of shimmer to them. Um, my fingertips have been stained basically black and these definitely perform better with a wet brush. This is a 21 from Refer. I will wet it. So I just use any kind of product here. I'm just gonna grab Fix Plus. I'm gonna, um, I don't wanna get hard pans, so I'm just gonna put my brush uh, dry in the pan so I can swatch it for you. So you will get fallout. I do recommend padding motions for some of these, a majority of these, to be honest with you. So this is sworn to the estuary. As I said, this is a bright kind of black based emerald green. That's it there. So this is blue eyed one. Again, this is a similar kind of feel to sworn to the estuary. So it's a beautiful kind of cobalt midnight blue. This next one is called Hydra. Um, I think this said as a description color gray. I don't get gray from it. Uh, this definitely has, a, it's a satin as well. It, to me, it's like a sea green, a deep sea green. I'm just gonna pat. 
I mean, I guess I could see why they might say gray, but I see more sea green, kind of deep sea green with the black base. Next one is Night Flower Seeker. And I'll show you what that one looks like in the pan. So it's kind of a, a lilac, purpley blue with um, pink um, shimmers running through it. This one definitely has like a shift to it, as you can probably see. See that purpley pink kind of tone in it. Next one is called Mechanical Crow. This one is definitely a deep kind of tealy color. Um, this and Hydra are very similar. Hydra has more of a green in it. Um, this has definitely more of a blue. I would say this is, hmm, almost like um, a peacock blue. And that is Mechanical Crow. Um, and then one of the little one the <laughs> the little bonus was this one, and this is Mistress of the Battle Dragon. It's very very crumbly and sparkly. There's not a lot of product, so I'm gonna use this very judiciously. This definitely has a blue base with some gold sparkle. See if I can turn down again. There it is there. Yeah. See, like it's a greeny kind of, almost like a patina um, from like a, a copper roof with that greeny kind of blue color with the gold over top. And that is the Mistress of the Battle Dragon. That was really kind of a neat color. Let's try that again and let's see if we can get through this without having to change. Well, my other batteries are charging. Okay, so this next one, as I said, is Citrine Bard. So it's like a lemon yellowy, uh, shimmery color. I was looking for a lemon yellow color because I was trying to do, remember when I was trying to do the, I'm gonna spray it because I think it works best that way. Um, I was trying to do like a gray and yellow look and I didn't really have a lot of yellows that were shimmery. Okay, so let's do this one. Yeah, so this is Nostalgic for Dandelions and I say it's a really great description of what kind of color it is. It's definitely that golden, um, golden yellow. Uh, so there's definitely that. Uh, this next one is called She Who Overthrows Governors. So it's this one here. It's called Unequaled. This is like a peachy gold color. And that one was called Unequaled. This one is uh, Bride of Dawn. Let's hit here. So very multi. So if I turn it down, let's just see. So you can see just how shimmery that is. And there's like multi. Um, so it's like a pinky brown uh, that has like purple, like lavender bits in it. Again, this this particular one. Um, works best with probably a sticky base or a wet brush. This next one is called Pack Leader. This is a very kind of a deep, dark, bronzy, cool kind of brown, I want to say. This one actually goes on really nicely without really having to wet it, I feel. Um, you get a true sense of the color. Um, I think this one is called Skilled in Le the Art of Levitation. 
just the, the names are just so cool. Uh, <laughs> let's just show you how sparkly this one is. So again, more of like a rosy kind of brownie kind of color. I didn't realize how many of the colors I purchased that were very similar in kind of range. Yeah, she who sets traps or spread spreading traps. I think it's the other translation of this. So these are just a little shimmery, nothing too um, crazy. It's a little bit darker, kind of a goldeny brown. A few more to go. Okay, so this next one, these next ones are really pretty. They came, these are more of the smaller, um, I want to say like 0.25 mil. They came in a little set of four that she just kind of creates these little sets. Um, this one is really beautiful. Um, is this like Winged Foreigner? I can't remember, but it is this beautiful aqua turquoise blue um, with darker flecks of blue and then it looks like some lavender in it as well. A little chunkier, you can see. That's it there, it's got like this aqua blue. shimmer. This next one's called Mad Professor. This one's like a greeny gold, like an old antique gold with a huge flex of um, lavender in it. So this has multi shimmers in it that I don't know if you can quite see. But it's definitely like a gold, a goldness to it. But there is like, there are like beautiful big lavender bits. And also within that set is this beautiful multi-chrome, oops, uh, multi-chrome color. This is called Winged Foreigner. The blue one was called Beautiful Stranger. Um, yeah, this is Winged Foreigner. Now, this, it has green, burgundy, um, orange, gold, kind of multi-chrome. So you're seeing the burgundy, that orangey kind of reddish shift, but <laughs> in person, it's like green and turquoise. Uh, yeah, anyway, beautiful. I mean, is it as smooth as like Davina or even Cleona's, no, uh, it was a powder, but um, it was be it was, it's really quite lovely. And lastly, this is the Song of the Night. Um, it's a white with a definite pink uh, sparkle and shift to it. Yeah, it looks like white <laughs> here, but it's very pink. And then lastly, this is the one that um, I definitely need glitter glue. This is a very golden, I think this is the promise of victory. This is one I probably wouldn't order again just because it is so chunky. I'll show it to you here. That's it there. So you can see how sparkly it is. I would say I'm gonna put on an adhesive, just the normal NYX glitter glue, if I can find it, there it is. This is the only one that I have that's quite like this. I'm just gonna pat that in on top of the glitter glue. Promise of victory. Quite pretty. 
almost has like a pinkness to it as well. Anyway, those are my Tammy Tanuka uh, loose shadows pressed today. Um, very, very happy to have them. Um, yeah, there's, <laughs> I can't even tell. Um, very, very excited to use them. They're absolutely stunning. Um, I think I, I probably will order some more in the future, but there are very many, there's so many brands out there that have um, some really gorgeous stuff. And, but yeah, if you want me to show you how I press these, I've been pressed, I'll show you some of my other pressed pigments that I've used. These are a combination of MAC, um, Makeup Forever, um, Mehron, Sydney Grace, um, Makeup Geek, some shadows um, there. Yeah, some so thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you soon, take care, please stay safe, and um, have a good one. Bye.